Hi everybody, welcome back to Lovely Girly Bits. Today is a haul video. I haven't been doing too much shopping, clothes shopping wise, but I have been doing some accessory shopping. So I thought today, while everything is fairly new in the shops, I thought I would do an accessories autumn winter haul video. And then I got a few little bits and boots over the weekend, so I thought I'd do a little mini boots haul too. So first things first, you know me, you know Karen, what do we love? scarves so i got this one in pennies um and as soon as i saw it i just knew it was me it's a really thick soft wool scarf and it's quite big as well so it's like quite a long oh, it's all fluff quite a long chunky scarf and it's just <laughs> sorry i've got fluff in my nose so it's quite a long, chunky, thick scarf, and it's um kind of like a beigey, greeny, red, navy colour, and they're just, it's my colouring. I love it, and I just can't wait for it to get a little bit colour so I can actually use this one. The next, Karen actually told me that this one was in pennies, and basically, it's pretty much an exact replica or a dupe of one that um I actually got Karen in Zara last year for part of a Christmas present and what it is it's red um, black white a little bit of blue checked on one side and then the other side is a black and white hound's tooth and again it's from pennies again it's a really big size scarf that's it folded over as well like it's pretty massive this is only seven euros and it's gorgeous again gorgeous quality and it looks exactly like the Zara one so yay pennies so I'm loving this one and then speaking of Zara, myself and Karen and Zara there a couple of weeks ago and I'd seen this scarf before, I know three scarves in the shopping trip, I'm so bad, but I'd seen this scarf before and again it's exactly my colouring. I have worn it already because I love the colours and it is light but it's just so thick that it can keep you really warm as well. Um, just the colours, I mean how gorgeous is this? I love it, it's like green and like a aubergine colour and like mustard and like a ready brown and I think it's flowers that the print is but it's just so big that you don't see it anyway but I just love it it's just so gorgeous so check out Zara then next um I had a voucher for River Island and I'm the world's worst at spending vouchers because I hold on to them for ages, I don't know what I want and then I end up buying something really practical and boring and something that I use even for loungewear, not even for workwear, for loungewear and Karen's like no you need to buy something that you wouldn't really buy yourself so it is like a present or whatever so have a look over Ireland, have a look around, didn't really see anything until we went into the bag section and I saw this bag. Oops. And I've it's literally as soon as I bought it, I've been wearing it ever since. And it's um a crossbody blue bag. It mainly of suede, but it just have like leather details um at the corners and where the zips are, and then the strap is chain with leather. And then these two zips are actually pockets where you can put your bits and bobs, and then there's a main pocket in the middle. And I just love it. I really do. I've literally been wearing this to work to, in the evening, weekends. I literally haven't gotten bored of it. I have nothing in this colour at all. And I just love how small it is because all my bags are really big. And the bigger the bag, the more stuff you put in and the heavier that they get. And I just love this. But then, I, that, I think that was €40 Euros and I still had money left in my voucher. So then I was like, well, what do I need for a small bag? I need a really cute little small purse. This is so cute. It's like black and um, with like fake crocodile texture. And it's so cute. It just zips open. I don't have much money in there. But it zips open and you've got a pouch either side for a card and then a gap in the middle for your change or your notes. And I actually love it. I'm very into like my big wallet zippy ones, but this is just so teeny tiny and I love it. And then I still had a couple of euros left to spend on my card. So Karen again, Karen's just brilliant. She makes me spend all my money. But Karen had seen these earrings. And I think she saw them on a blog. I'm not sure which blog or what website she saw them. And they're these. 
Now they look like a little pearl stud with a drop that has a pearl on the bottom, which they are. But when you take off the back like this, they become separate. So this sits here and then the bottom one kind of goes behind your ear. I should have probably worn these to make it more sense. But they're just really cool. I think my earlobes are quite small. I'll put one in quickly. My earlobes are quite small so I think you're supposed to just see a dot of a pearl here and then the bigger pearl underneath but because my lobes are small you do see the gold bar but they're still pretty cool like I bought them if I can find the hole that's what she said there we go so I bought them just because I had the voucher there not thinking that I actually would wear them I don't know if you can see that but I actually do really like them on they're just a little bit different but they're really cool you can see the pearl there and then a gap and then the pearl at the bottom so yay i'm loving these so next i was in accessorized in limerick and i was just having a little nosy just wasting some time while will was in boy shops doing boy things and i saw this necklace and i literally just saw it and i was like oh my god that's like just amazing i think what i love about it is just it's very simple it's not too long it's not too blingy but it's dressy and I like that you can wear it with a really dressy black dress or whatever colour. It actually will go with literally any colour. So you can wear it with a dress, I can wear it with jeans and a t-shirt and it'll just dress it up and it just sits really well. I think that was like 19 euros maybe. I'll have the links for everything below so you can see the prices etc. But I just love it. I just think it's just really really nice statement necklace without being too in your face. But it's also something that can be worn every day. Yay! So next I went into boots um, for basically one thing in particular. And as Karen says, you go in for one thing you come out with a whole load of stuff. And I wanted to get this mascara. It's the number 7 Lash Impact Mascara. And the only reason I got this is because Karen had it. And I saw a picture on her Instagram with what it looked like on her eyes. And I thought it was gorgeous. And she's done a blog post recently as well about it, which I will link it below. And it's just, it's the type of mascara that, for me, I don't wear too much makeup. So I don't like anything just too in your face. So when you start to put it on, it makes your eyelashes go really wispy and light and feathery. So it's really, really lovely for everyday use. But then the more you put on, the more defined they get. And again, you can then build it up for evening. And I just love it. It's just a normal... um wire brush I'm gonna say I've never talked about mascara before but yeah no I just I really 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 like that and if you have a look at Karen's um blog post that's linked below you will see the before and after and literally you won't believe your eyes my eyelashes just go once I put this on it's amazing and then while I was looking around um at this when I was having a look around in boots I was like hmm Maybe I should get some autumnal nail colours and I really wanted like a whiny ready colour and then I saw this one, it's um, the Jelly High Shine by Barry M and this colour is chilly and it's not even a whiny red, it's more of like, it's actually kind of like the colour of my scarf. This kind of red, it's more of like um, a terracotta-y ready brownie colour and I actually meant to do my nails with this during the week so I'm going to try it out later to see what I think of it but really really like that colour and then when you bought one you got a second one half price and you know you have to get a second one so I got this one and this is called Chai um, and it's just a really nice grey colour I don't know about like that Karen probably has a million I don't have any so yeah I just thought both those colours would be really nice so I can't wait to try them so last but not least when I was in boots I needed a new dry shampoo and I decided to pick up the Aussie Miracle Dry Shampoo Mega Instant. I've never tried this before, um, I've only ever used Baptiste and I do like that and I think it's really good but I don't like the white powder and so much the white powder that comes out but this one there's not that much powder that comes out it just makes my head feel really cold and then when I rubbed it in um, I used it during the week going to work I rubbed it in it actually made my hair look really shiny like I had washed my hair maybe the night before so it was really nice and then when I took it down when I came home from work that day I actually had good volume 
up on the top of my head which I don't really get because my hair is so long so I'm going to try to set a little bit more see how I get on and then I'll probably review it I don't think Karen has reviewed it before if she has I will link it below if not I might do a blog post if you'd like me to so that's it for my autumn winter accessories haul on my little mini boots haul and I hope you enjoyed it and um, if you have any questions please leave a comment anything that I bought will hopefully be in the description box below with a link and yeah there might be one or two blog posts coming up reviewing a couple of things that i bought hope to see you soon bye